So coming in to sit in close, we want the equipment in behind the buttocks as much as we can get. And we want to feel that it's sturdy enough and strong enough that we're in extension, not that we're rolling into flexion. So prop up more if you need to, and then ease the back body down onto the equipment. Pull extra cushions, I always put a blanket in under my head to help me keep my chin tucked down, back of neck long. Arms out comfortably wide. Turn the palms up in a gesture of openness and receiving. With the chin tucking down, I want to keep elongation through the back of the neck. Arms out comfortably wide. Palms turn up, gesture of openness and receiving. From the shoulders, let them drop around the bolster. So the bolsters around, they're giving us this support through the body. But then we went for the shoulders to drop. So this front shoulder gets to open. Especially if we sit over computers, we're at desks, we fold the body in, we slump, we compress through the diaphragm. So also noticing the shoulders are open, but the chest is open. This area under the rib cage, this dome-shaped diaphragm gets lifted and expanded here. Front abdominal wall is long. So again, when we're sitting at computers during the day, we compress, our core gets weak. So we're just giving it some length here giving the diaphragm some more movement. And then from the hips down through the legs and into the feet, our backs of heels, hip distance, and just let the feet drop away. So I always start the Friday night classes on the bolster, especially after working week is done. Let the front body open, let there be lightness. And this week we've been working with expansion of energies. So breathing in just as slow and as comfortable as you can. Breathing out, softening. So we let the breath flow slowly and gently. Just allow yourself the time to be here, surrendering. So back body is propped and supported, front body lifted and open. And if there is any discomfort through the back or through the body, make the subtle changes. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Slide down a little if you need, readjust arms or legs, whatever it is for you. Let yourself breathe. So that expansion of the breath as we breathe in, opening the body. The exhale, softening. Inhales, expansion and opening. And exhale, softening. After your next exhalation, just simply push out through the heels, lengthen the legs. Then we're going to bend the legs up, soles of feet together, and let the knees drop away. If your legs are tight, the hips are tight, the legs are shaking around here, I'm quite mobile, but I also like to, in the end, just stack the blocks or cushions, towels under the side of the hips and legs. Let them be supported, and then that will help the inside of the legs to soften. No pulling of the hips. No pulling of the inside of the legs, and then opening through the hips, let the arms sweep back, and then it opens up the chest more, reach back to wherever you can, taking elbows, if that's difficult, for the wrists, cup the hands, or simply wide long arms. So just gently feeling a little bit more opening through the body, 
And just allow yourself to breathe into this feeling. So the body might not necessarily open anymore, but maybe you'll feel a softening and a releasing. Whilst we keep the front body stretched out and elongated, just some nice gentle breaths in and out. few more moments, just feeling at the body, feeling any softening, any de-stressing occurring, if there's tension holding through muscles and joints, is there ability just to soften here, feeling a little bit more light or a little bit more spacious. And then wherever you're holding the arms, can we just change the grip to the unnatural side? And if you're just hugging the arms out long, keep them long. If you're holding anywhere, just change the grip, the other side holding. Breathing in and out again of this feeling. Just by a simple change of the arms, do you notice difference around the shoulders? Again, we don't want tension, we want expressions of open, expansion. Notice how it feels for you. And on your next inhalation, let the arms simply stretch out long behind you. Bring them all the way down around beside you. And give yourself a moment of surrender. Shoulders again, drop around the edges of the equipment. Opening up the front chest, front shoulder. Diaphragm just below this rib cage area is expanding. Natural breaths. Abdominal wall lengthened and open. And let yourself breathe. Again, just simply noticing. Is there softening? Is there a releasing through the body anywhere? Anywhere that's been gripping or you hold into? Can you soften? Any softening or surrendering? And sometimes it's unintentional. We don't even realize we're holding or we're holding into a particular area, gripping, tightening. And as we can just give ourselves time to rest and surrender, those tensions just seem to fall away. Or we'll feel a little bit of a movement there, energy releasing out of the body. Tensions releasing out of muscles. Coming off the equipment, move equipment from the legs off to the side, 
Any back issues, please roll to your right side to come up. And if it's easy enough, just slide the arms back and roll up. <clears throat> Coming to sit long diamond shape with the legs, so feet further out in front. Let the body roll down and in, taking the forehead towards the heels. And give yourself this time to soften. So if you come in deep into this forward roll and there's any pulling at the lower back to the sacroiliac joints in that lower back region, if you've gone too far, just ease out a bit. <clears throat> and if it's the neck, make sure the chin is tucked in, really supporting the weight of the head. And again, even use the hands and prop the head on the hands where needed, protecting. So the body rolls in and surrenders. So in yin, we want to hold and find that first point of resistance. So we go to that first place and then we don't force past there. If the body's ready to open and soften, it'll invite us in deep. It'll continue rolling in. Without pushing, without pulling, surrendering. But again, if you do go too far, the body starts shaking. There's heat building, neural tension building. Then please add come out and prop the body where you need. <clears throat> so in here we come to the posture, we come as still as we can. Each time we move, even the most subtle of adjustment creates heat and energy. We're trying to get in under the heat and under the energy, quietening and cooling. And then we breathe consciously. Once we're here, just conscious breaths into whatever's there for you. Mindful as we breathe. And it's a full body focus. So what do you notice? <clears throat> and then the longer we can stay in the stretch and the posture, the more release we may get. Giving ourselves time to surrender, no rush. If the mind's wandering into story, can you come back to breath? Can you let yourself drop and surrender completely, tuning in? to give the feet a bit of a massage whilst you're here. Maybe give them a rub, doing lots of walking or running. The feet get stiff and tight and sore. And then when you're ready, let the arms relax again. And roll up nice and slow. Chin tucked in, vertebra by vertebra. Coming up to sit tall, and once you bring the head up, neutral spine, feel the change in the energy after being rolled down and in and now sitting upright. What does it feel like through the upper body, through the chest, the shoulders, the neck, the throat, front abdominal wall? Noticing is there any lightness or spaciousness through the body in this upright position. And then on your next exhalation, let the right ear tilt down. Be 
feeling length down that left side neck and if the neck doesn't like it bring the chin down and in some more make sure the chin is tucked in ribs are in so we're not overextending the spine we're protecting the neck where we need to and then inhale let the head come to center second side left ear down right ear up and again, it's this right side neck starts gripping is tight. Bring the chin down and in a little bit more. Again, protecting where you need to. So we don't want the neural tension. We don't want tightness. We don't want the gripping. If it's occurring, that gripping feeling, heating, bring the chin down and in. Inhale, the head comes up to center. Bring the chin slowly around to the right shoulder and then tuck the chin down and in. And now the twist and the rotation on the neck, gentle breaths. Again, breathing for the full body. Breathing into sensations, but also awareness through the whole body. And then slowly start to roll the chin to center chest, keeping the chin in and up towards back of neck. neutral. Again we transition slowly, don't rush. Once you're there give yourself a moment. When you're ready slowly the chin all the way around to the left side and tuck down and in. And again breathing carefully and gently with the neck. We never force the neck, we notice what the feelings are. Surrendering around and in. Maybe a tight neck, shoulder, arm, you feel it down the back. Keep the breaths gentle and calm. And again, being aware of sensations, but also the full body. And slowly the head down to center chest. So again, transition slowly, just really being aware of the feeling. And then inhale slowly, the head lifts up to neutral. And then when you're ready, give yourself a moment. Are the shoulders relaxed down? Is there softening? Is there releasing of tension and tightness anywhere? Slow breaths. And then when you're ready, we're rotating the face to the right, bring the arms around to the right. And just a nice, easy rotation through the body. You want to feel the back rotating, the belly, the chest, the shoulder, the arm and the face looking back. So noticing the neck, not forcing the neck around. Feel it's the body. So again, you might not get much more rotation but you might get a feeling of surrendering. Maybe there's softening through the rotation. Maybe the breath is more open after a while. It's easy to breathe into the twist. Notice these feelings.
exhale, fully squeeze the last breath out. Slowly turn the face forward, bring the body with it all the way and all the way around to your left. Begin just gentle rotation. movements, stillness once you're there, no forcing, so you feel this first point of resistance, how far does the body rotate, and then breathe here, conscious breaths. exhale, take a moment, soften, release forward, come back to being through to the center. Let's take it all the way around to the right side again when you're ready. So again, slow rotations, no rushing, no forcing, rotate, bring shoulders and chest around and keep breathing. So as we come through a second time, notice has there been a change? Anywhere, the most subtle of differences be aware, breathing in and breathing out. Last exhale again and then slowly release out, back to center, and then all the way around to the left again in your time. Slow breaths, gentle and calm. Again, we're not forcing. This feeling is there surrendering, feeling is there softening. And then notice where there might be expansion and opening. Breathe consciously in and out. Again, try to minimize fidgeting, try to be still. And then notice what changes. Without the distraction of fidgeting and moving around, where do we get releasing? breath comes a little more fully through the back body, through the front body, around the entire rib cage area. Is there softening? Do we get release and opening?
And then when you're ready, bring it back to center. Give yourself a moment. Bring those legs out long. They've been there a while. Notice how they feel. Do you need to point and flex? Do you need to shake the legs out? Roll shoulders, mobilize the neck, mobilize the body. Do what you can where you need to. Just get some release for a moment. And then when you're ready, prop the hips up on the edge of the bolster. Give yourself that height. Helps us to protect our lower back so we're not falling away. Keeping it lifted up in extension. And then right hand off to the side. Left arm up and over and stretch. So we're going to let the knees just drop away. Lean the body. So we're stretching the left side body first. Breathe into the feeling, opening through it. So again, if the neck is sore, look down. If it's easy, look out. If this top arm starts to get sore, you can bring it around behind the back as if you want to reach around behind for this right leg. You can adjust the head wherever you want to. Again, protecting the neck always, being careful. Keep breathing. Again, can we find that first point of resistance? Hips opening, legs releasing, side body lengthening, maybe more the neck, the shoulder, wherever you've got the arm, depending where you've placed it. Maybe you feel the body starting to be able to lean further. Still keeping some support and pressure on the right hand as you do. But just notice, is there that leaning? Is it opening for you? Ready. If you've still got the left arm over, sweep it down, push away from the right hand. Let's go second side, but before you do, just give yourself a moment being completely upright. So especially with that lean, just now let the spine come back to its central neutral alignment. Let the shoulders relax down and notice differences perhaps between right and left side, because we're leaning to one side only. Notice the feelings through the shoulders, the back body. Side front body, whatever you're feeling. Witness it, observe it, breathe in and out of it. Mindfulness in the moment. And then when you feel ready, simply place the left hand down this time. Right arm up and over and stretch. So again, we want to keep the left shoulder sealed down the back so we're not jamming on the joints. And then we push away from that left hand. We're opening the right side body. Top arm over long. Again, protect the neck, looking down with chin tucked in more if needing to. And again, this right arm and shoulder might get sore here. And then so if so, you want to change the position, bring it around behind the back. And it's the back of the hand against the body or as if you're trying to reach for that left leg. Maybe the head will tilt down and in more. Maybe getting more stretch on the top side, neck, shoulder, arm. Maybe you roll the face down, chin in. And then notice the feelings. Notice what happens for you. Again, we're in no rush. We just let the body go to where it's willing to open into. With all the other work and activities that we do, yin classes are nice just to soften into. Finding that edge and then noticing what happens there. Noticing do we surrender, are we already there? Notice is the body willing to open up, the mind willing to open up. That mind-body connection, so relevant, so important.
body wants to go deeper, let it go. Then hold it out over, do you have a tendency of holding out? Are you surrendering? And when you're ready, easing out. So again, nice and slow transitioning out. Let the arms come to rest on the legs. If the legs are sore, readjust them for a moment. Really just let both shoulders drop down the back as much as you can. Maybe you'll feel some spaciousness, some length somewhere. Try and be still for a moment if you can with the upper body, with the spine straight up. If you really feel you need to roll it, move it, do so, but could you be still for a moment and just let everything rebalance, especially after the leaning to the side. Notice what's here to rebalance. Notice what it feels like around the shoulders, the neck, the body. Turn the face gently to the right. Bring the arms around to the right. Take the twist again and just notice how it feels. Notice do you feel there might be more body in the twist now. What are you feeling? Ease around and again just notice. Again that first point of resistance in the twist, where do you get to? Conscious breaths into it. Feeling it's the body, the back body, the front body, chest, shoulder, not forcing the neck. More awareness through the back, the shoulders perhaps as well. We're just slowly releasing out, bring it all the way back to center, all the way around to your left. And again, noticing, not forcing, feel that first point of resistance, and then we don't force past it. We let the body surrender, we let the nervous system know it's okay to be here, and when it's ready to let go and surrender, the body will release and maybe go a little bit further. So shift to the leanings, really careful with that lower back, not forcing around it. And then release the face and body forward. Can we assist the legs to come up once you do? Now we're going to come up to a standing forward fold. I'm going to use the legs, push into the feet, lift the buttocks off the equipment and just let the upper body surrender and hang down in the forward bend. So we're going to keep the legs bent, keep the ribs on the thighs, palms turn up so fingers point back, the arms aren't doing any work, shoulders, head dropping in. Now gravity is pulling the spine long. Make sure you keep ribs on thighs and really feel through the back of legs, back of body, how open or tight you might be, breathing into this feeling. So arms heavy, shoulders get to drop towards the ears, head heavy, dropping towards the yoga mat. And keep lengthening through the back body. Let the breaths flow.
It gets too much, put the bottom back on the bolster, have a moment rest and then come back into it if you can. Remember, don't overdo it if you don't want to, if you're not used to it, don't force the body. Remember, no single muscle or joint is under strain, so if it's too much for you, ease out, sit on the bolster for a moment, have a rest. If you feel the pressure in the head gets too much for you, you're not used to it, then bring maybe the hands forward, lift head and chest up a little bit, and then drop in again. Especially if you're not used to being upside down, any blood pressure issues, being upside down, make sure it's easy, comfortable for you. Now we are going to adjust it. We're going to bring the hands in front, pull the chest forward. Can we lift our heels off the mat, coming onto the toes? And can we bend our legs down, careful around joints if they're sore, but just being high on the toes. So heels are up, we're on our toes. If it's easy, bring the hands up to heart center and just take a moment. So just activating through the feet for a few moments. If you're not used to it, the hands on the floor and up and down off the feet where you need to. And then put the hands back down, bring the heels down. Now, could we move the toes out, move the feet out a little bit and come into a squat? So knees out, toes out at an angle. So toes out, knees out into a squat, either hands at prayer position or in front on the floor, or you can grab your yoga mat and round the back, or you could grab around your back of your ankles and round the back. So if you're holding the yoga mat, you can pull away from it, hold around the back of the ankles, you can pull in, roll in, or arms just where you're comfortable. If you want to keep head and chest up, just rest the elbows, arms on the legs and keep head and chest up if your head's had enough of being down and in. So toes out, knees out, and again if your knees aren't happy, be higher up in the squat and see if you get down any lower eventually. Will you get release if you don't go all the way down? Hips not open, joints not open, knees not open, don't force the squat if it's not easy for you. So again, you might then have the hands out further with the squat higher, bottom higher, and eventually feeling, will you get any release around those joints, muscles to ease in? Wherever you can. So again, you can hold the mat and push away, hold back of ankles, just let the hands relax, or keep the head up, being higher. So wherever that is for you tonight, can you surrender into it? We'll get the oohs and the ahs maybe when we come up out of it, but a few more moments if you can stay in it. Maybe you're getting a nice stretch around the back of the hips, sacroiliacs getting open, the back body lengthening. push through the feet, weight forward if you need to, take the bottom up again and just hold into that forward fold. If you need to, mobilize the legs for a moment, swing the hips, swing the body, just being a bit kinder to the legs, hips, buttocks, back where you need. And then when you're ready, flip the hands again, palms turn up and be still hanging down on the legs. Has a change second time folding in. If it's too much, you can rest the elbows on the upper thighs, push the bottom out, and lift the head and chest. Really be careful of the back, make sure ribs are on thighs. Surrendering in. Maybe those legs have opened a bit for you. Maybe you can get more length up through the hammies. And then lift the head and chest, hands in front. Just kick the bolster out of the way or cushions out behind you and step it out to your down dog. Unlock knees, unlock elbows. 
Press away from your hands, press down in your feet. So downward facing dog, just stretch and lengthen. Where is it for you? Exhale fully, lower to your knees. Dip and roll the spine. Inhale, dip the spine. Pause for a moment. And then roll the spine. Exhale, look into the navel and pause for a moment. So through cat and cow gently. Inhale, dip the spine. Let the chest pull through. Pause for a moment, soften. Roll the spine, look into the navel. Pause and soften. Couple more in this way, no rush. And then when you've next got the dip, stay here. So on your next inhale, as you dip the spine, just stay here breathing. Really just let the abdominal wall go soft. Yes, the arms are supporting you and holding you, but let the chest open and just let yourself breathe. Remember, make subtle adjustments. If you feel you're just dropping into a pivot point or there's a pinching in the lower back, just readjust it slightly. Careful through that lumbar spine. But otherwise, let the belly be soft, the chest open. Notice the feeling. Make sure you're not jamming back on the neck. Tuck the chin a little if you need, protecting your neck. And then roll the spine, tailbone tucks, spine rolls in, chin tucks in. Look towards the navel. And again, just breathe here. Then the hands, upper body's doing a bit of work. And just breathe across where do you feel the breath opening in the posture. And then whichever is the best way for you, can you simply bring the right knee up towards the right wrist. Move the left foot out or lift the left knee. Slide the right foot across to the left side of the mat for the pigeon. And then slide back, easing the left leg back, right buttock back. If you want the bolster, put it in underneath that right buttock so it can press back onto it. Or you can put the bolster in front of the body and lean onto it if you wish to. Or just simply walk the arms out in front and surrender in to wherever you can take it to tonight. Opening around these hips, legs, glutes. Feel this surrendering, feel this softening. Easing in. Remember, if the joints are sore, don't force it. Keep that right foot back and closer to the left hip. If there's no first point of resistance, this right foot comes further away. And as it does, then you might feel more opening around the back of the hip and glute. So again, we don't force. Supporting ourselves with equipment if we wish to, if we need to. We feel that first point of resistance and then we soften there. Keep breathing. So again, we're not trying to force the body. We let gravity bring us in. Let the breaths flow. And then as the body wants to ease in, you know, we readjust. We find those balance points. We balance our body. We protect joints. I like to think about our yin classes like you go in when you're ready to, not before you're invited. It's like someone knocking at the door. They wait until they're invited in. Wait with your body until it invites you in, not forcing it. But when you step over the threshold and force it into a position it doesn't want to be in. So we just use ourselves with awareness. 
feeling the body, surrendering to it, intuiting the feeling, the connection in. The coolness, so we're not building heat, we're not building friction. Subtle changes can be really subtle. You know, someone looking at us just thinks you're lying around doing nothing, but when you're in chin, you're really feeling these postures. They don't have to be deep. Noticing sensations and feelings in them. Embodied tensions trying to release out. And from the outside, it might look like there's not much occurring, but oh geez, there's a lot happening in there. Exhale fully and we're bringing it up slowly. Transition out as slowly as you can. Can you lift it up into a back bend? So again, no, no points of um, pain so that we feel that first point of resistance and then we hold there, but not forcing beyond it. Breathe into the feeling, opening. Chest lifting, shoulders back. Remember, protect the joints, protect the body. Again, if there's more opening, then go deeper. So opening higher, bending the leg up maybe, taking the hands off the floor maybe. Where is it for you? I'm gonna ease it out, back on the hands and knees. Just taking this right leg back, bring the left leg in. Once you're here on hands and knees, just rock the hips, shoulders side to side. Circle it around, a figure eight. Mobilize it. Find some opening. If there's a tight spot, pause and hold into it. Just a little bit of mobilizing, getting a release. And then when you're ready, then the left knee slides up towards the left wrist, maybe tucking the toes, lift the right knee, slide it back so this left foot can slide across, and then ease the pelvis, buttocks, back leg down, and we're pressing the left buttock back. So again, you might want the bolster and put it under the left buttock. You might want the bolster in front of the body and lean over it, working around where it's comfortable for you. Maybe it's going to come straight through, feeling this first point of resistance. And then once you're there, breathe into it. So again, if you get all the way in and there's no resistance point, the front foot keeps coming further away. Excuse me. Easing in again and just feeling first points of resistance. And if you get to these points and you're still fidgeting, you can't be comfortable, you can't release there, then you've probably gone past the edge that you can't just be there. So then it's either you come back or you prop and use an extra bit of support where you need. So is there breath? Key indicator. Is there breath in what you're feeling? And breathe in and out of it. Can you feel the body shifting and changing? 
And really tuning into the subtleties of the body, awareness with breath. Stay with the breath. Notice if you're in a story. Notice if the mind is wandering. Keep coming back to the breath. you to go in, go in. Notice if you're holding out. Notice do you need to adjust the point. Notice if the hips are pinching, do you need to adjust. And bring it up really slowly, push away from the floor, walk the hands in. No contraction, no pressing in the back, arch the chest away you can. Maybe you feel the stretch through the front abdominal wall up to the chest. Maybe it's still around through the legs, buttocks, back. Keep breathing. Maybe you're really open up, the arms are up, maybe you're bending the back leg up. Find where the opening is for you tonight. And we're not forcing, we're listening to the body, turning the focus in. noticing where the body wants to go, not where you're going to try and override it, where, it's li where you listen to the body, letting it tell you where it wants to go to open, and then you feel the releasing. There, we're going to walk the hands in, ease back out on the outer edge of this left hip and buttock as much as you can. Can you swing that right leg around, bring it outside of the left leg? Now, if the left leg needs to go straight, take the left leg out straight along the mat. Keep it tucked under if you can. Just give the hip a bit of a roll out or rock out there if it's feeling a bit tight. Releasing back here, it should feel okay, hopefully. And then we're twisting again. We're going to bring the left arm around the right leg, right hand behind us, and just rotate looking back. So again, noticing is there some softness through the upper body? Maybe it doesn't feel so tight as we try and rotate and look back gently. So just twisting the body, neutralizing the spine after the back bending, after the forward bending. And then slowly we're bringing the face back to neutral, the body, readjust, change the legs, whether the right leg's going long or you're going to tuck it underneath. Bring the left foot over outside edge of the right leg. 
Right arm wrapping, left hand behind. And again, you just straight away as you rotate back, it might feel easier for you. Just breathe into this feeling. Just finishing off by neutralizing the spine. And exhale fully, releasing out, inhale, coming back to front to the mat, release those legs out, give them a rub down, give them a shake down, roll the hands up and down the legs, the spine up and down, mobilize the shoulders, mobilize the neck, all the joints of the body releasing. And then when you're ready, making sure all the equipment's away from behind you, Use your core body and roll your body down to the mat. As slow as you can, if you're cold, grow extra layers, put them over the body and ease your body down. If you need a prop under the head supporting it, do so. If the lower back's sore, bend the legs up and then just let the body rest down onto the mat. Can we be completely still? Can we surrender? And stillness and surrendering, what's the feeling through the body? Is there spaciousness? The yin practice hopefully gave us spaciousness. What do you feel through the body? Scanning, witnessing, noticing, tuning inward. And when you're ready, slide your awareness down through your body, down through your legs, out through your feet and up through your toes. So feel, is there any length or spaciousness in and around your toes? And from the toes, come down into the arches of the feet. And what do you notice through the arches of the feet? come down into the heels and then up into the ankles and what's the feeling in and around the ankles is there spaciousness from the ankles slide up the shins and come into the knees Noticing around the knees, is there spaciousness and openness? From the knees, breathe in, slide up the femur, the bone through the upper leg, come to rest in the hips. And feel we rest into the hip socket. Is there space in and around the hip socket where the ball of the femur, the head of the greater trochanter comes up into the hip socket and is there space there? And then let your awareness come to rest in the pelvis. This bowl-like shape of the pelvis, we rest our focus here. And 
and slide down to the tip of your tailbone. And as slow as you can, slide your awareness up along the spine, vertebra by vertebra. Is there space along the spine? And then come to rest through the middle of the rib cage. So feeling this spaciousness in and around the ribs. Come to rest in the middle of the rib cage where you're resting in pure spaciousness, right in the center of the rib cage. Let your awareness come up to the sternum, slide up the sternum up to the edge of the collarbone, slide out along the edge of each collarbone, right to the outer edge, and rest into the shoulders. Feel the space in and around the shoulders. Slide down the upper arms into the elbows. Slide down the forearms into the wrists. Is there space? Down into the hands, through fingers and thumbs. Is there length? Is there space? Slide your awareness up the inside of your arms, all the way to underarms. And feel a softening along the inside of the arms. But the softness in the underarms, the underarms always soft. Come up through the back of the neck, tuck the chin down. Let the weight of the head release down. Feel the jawline release. And then come up and rest into the middle of the head. And feel that you're resting in pure spaciousness. Resting into the middle of the head.
the mind has wandered, bring it back to breath. And start to gradually lengthen and deepen the breath. As those breaths start to deepen, gently rub thumbs and fingers and wiggle toes. And opening, closing hands and flexing feet back and forth. And then circle the joints, ankles and wrists for rotation. And then opposite direction in your time. And then stretch the arms up and over, reach out long and sigh and soften. Twice more, stretch on the inhale. Sigh and soften with the exhale. And then last stretch for as long and as deep as you can. Hold the breath for as long as you can. Stretch from fingers to toes, hands, feet, arms, legs, the spine. And then sigh the breath and soften. Once you've released, bend your legs up. Roll to your right. Give yourself a moment there. And then moving slowly to come up and sit when you're ready to. Easy cross the legs and if you are falling out in the lower back, prop the hips up. Shoulders balanced above the hips. Tuck the chin slightly, back of neck is long. Keep breathing. We bring the awareness to the nostrils, the tip of the nostrils, or entries of nostrils. Notice the breath. Easy breath. Notice is there a coolness to the uptake of breath. Exhale. A warmth as the breath releases out. Inhales. Do they feel cooler? The exhales warm. Notice the sensation. Can you feel the breath all the way through the nostrils? There's one nostril dominant. Knowing if your right side nostril is dominant, it means the left side brain is currently more active. If your left side nostril is dominant, the right side creative side is more dominant. So there's that change over opposite brains to nostril side. Just being aware, a few more rounds. Then next inhale, let the arms float wide and up. Hands connect together and touch to the forehead. As we move through life, we move through life with thoughtfulness. Touch the hands to the lips. As we move through life, we have kind words. Bring the hands to the heart. As we move through life, we have compassion and we have kindness. Namaste. Fold the body, stretch long, surrender forward. Be still or rock it out however you wish to finish. And then when you're ready, rolling up and finishing in your time.